Hello students, so let's try to solve one more problem and this is from the classical mechanics and this is question ID 451. So let's try to solve this problem. This is a really very nice problem and but very conceptual and very easy problem. So what we have, we have basically uh, for a free particle of mass m consider the following time dependent quantity in a phase space. So this is your time dependent quantity in a phase space where Q and P are the canonically conjugate position and momentum quantity, then you have to calculate dQ upon dt. So, students, it's a very simple question and uh, very conceptual but So, what is your dQ upon dt? So, it is given dQ upon dt is equal to nothing but Q H plus del Q upon del t. So, you have to just use this one, otherwise it will take lot of time and you have to solve the equation of motion for this uh, free particle and all this thing. And uh, we have done this type of question in our classroom also, you, so you all know. And what is your Hamiltonian? Hamiltonian for free particle is nothing but P square upon 2M. So, what is this value? So, this value is equal to del Q upon del Q into del H upon del p this is Poisson bracket of q and h del h upon del p minus del q upon del p del h upon del q plus we have to go for del q upon del t. So now del q upon del q is equal to nothing but we have p upon m and what do you have del h upon del p is again we have into p upon m and here you will go for del h upon del q is 0 because it is free particle so this complete term is 0 and what you have plus we have del q upon del t so when you will go for this particular differentiation then you have basically uh, p square upon m square with the negative sign. So, this is your p square m square. So, what will happen? This term and this term is going to be cancelled. So, the complete answer is 0. So, what will be your answer? Your answer will be A and you can also see that this dq upon dt must be equal to 0. So, this quantity is some conserved quantity. So, this is very interesting thing. In spite of that, it is explicit function of time. This is nothing but what? Conserve in nature. So, this type of question is always asking in the examination. So, they have asked directly dq upon dt, but you have to think this all thing, this all concept from the conservation point of view. Thank you.